This is again your teacher Jenny. Let's try to talk about writing standard equation of an ellipse again. Let us now have our third example because this is the continuation. This is the video continuation of writing standard equation. This is the part two video. So let's have our third given. So we have find the equation of the ellipse with vertices at negative 3, 4, and 5, 4, and foci at negative 1, 4, and 3, 4. So first, we are going to know that before we can write our standard equation of the ellipse, we must first know the center A and then B, because later on, we'll be transforming that to A squared and B squared. And also, we need information of the orientation of our ellipse. So finding those information, we must first plug in our given information here on the graph. So we have negative 3, 4, so this is somewhere here. This is our vertex 1. And then we have 5, 4, so this is somewhere here. This is our second vertex. Next one, we are going to plot our foci. Our foci there is negative 1, 4. This is where it is. This is our focus one. And then we've got three, four, which is somewhere here, which is our focus two. So if you try to locate the center using graphical method, you can locate that one by simply counting either vertex one to vertex two, and then get the middle of it. By simply dividing the distance by two, you will be locating the center. Or the focus one, uh, counting the number of units away from focus 2 and then divide that by 2, you will be identifying our center. So let me just have on my graphical method, let me just count the number of distance or units away from the focus to another focus. So we have here first focus. From the first focus, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 units away from each other. We divide that one by two. So four divided by two, that will be equal to two. So this is where our location of the center. So we have one, two, that's two units from the focus. So this is our center is, center is at negative one, four. Now let's try to check that one using the midpoint formula and we use the other one, which is the vertices. So we have the midpoint here will be equal to X sub one plus X sub two over 2 and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2 and then we are going to continue with uh, plugging in so let's try to plug in our information here based on the vertices we have our x sub 1 here y sub 1 x sub 2 y sub 2 you may interchange those uh, labeling that's really fine. So we have our midpoint here. Once we plug it in, we have that one is negative 3 and then x sub 2 is 5 over 2. Then y sub 1 is 4. y sub 2 is 4 over 2. So simplifying that one, this is negative 3 plus 5. That's 2 over 2. And then we have 4 plus 4 is 8 over 2. And then we have our center here as 2 over 2 is 1. 8 over 2 is 4. So we have that one as uh, 1, 4. And by the way, this should be 1, 4. Sorry on that one. Uh, the location of the center is at 1, 4. Now next, we have our... Uh, I'd we have now the center. Yes, we have 1, 4 as the center here. Next up is to find our A. Now, that is possible here because our A there is a distance from the center to our vertex. So if you try to look at this, we have the center already plotted in our graphical method. And then if you try to count from the center to one vertex, that will be our A. So we have from the center here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. The, the distance or they are or the vertex there is four units away from the center. So this should be four. Next up, we have B. B is the distance from the center to our co-vertices. We don't have the co-vertices here. So we need to find our B by utilizing our uh, formula, wherein we've got that one as C squared equal to A squared minus B squared. We need to look for B squared. To make this one positive, we move B squared to the other side. So we have B squared 
equal to, we move c squared to the other side, a squared minus c squared. We wanted to look for b, so we try to get the square root of that one. So we have our b will be equal to the square root of a squared minus c squared. So plugging in, we have b equal to uh, a squared, our a there is 4, squaring that one, and then minus c. Our c there is, if you try to look at our graph here, c is the distance from the center to a focus. So if you try to count the number of units from the center to a focus, we have that one as 1, 2. There are 2 units that a focus is away from the center. So we have c is equal to 4. I mean two. So if you are going to plot that one, I mean plug that one in. So we have two squared. So again, that's two. Let me just clarify. So from the center to the focus, we have one, two units. So that should be two squared. So our B now will be equal to square root of four. Four squared is 16. Two squared is four. So simplifying that one, this is now square root of 12. So we may use square root of 12 in there because later on, we are going to get the square root of that one. Because again, what we need here is the a squared. a squared is 4 squared, that's 16. And then b squared is square root of 12 squared. So that should be 12. So those are the, the ones that we need as the information in order for us to write our standard equation. But wait, you need to also consider the orientation of our ellipse. If you try to look at that one, the location of the focus and the vertices will determine our orientation because they are horizontal. That means to say that our orientation is also horizontal. So those are the needed information here. Now, let's now write our standard equation of our ellipse. So, standard equation of the ellipse now is, since that is horizontal, so that should be x minus h squared over uh, a squared, because that is horizontal, plus y minus k squared over b squared equal to 1. So, plugging in, we've got our x minus our h there is... This is the center, so we have hk for that one. So x minus 1 squared over a squared, which is 16. And then plus y minus our k there is 4 and then squared over b squared, which is 12, equal to 1. So that is now our standard equation of the ellipse. Let us now go for the fourth example. So find the equation of the ellipse with covertices at 4, negative 2, and 16, negative 2, and the length of the foci is 16. So if you try to look at that, we are going to find the center first, and then we are going to look for A, B, and then the orientation. So let's say if I'm going to change this one into uh, 10 as the interval and 20 as the interval because we've got um, 16 and negative 2. So I'll be changing the intervals of this Cartesian plane into by 10s. Okay, now if we are going to plot that one, so 4, negative 2, if this is by 2, so we've got 2, 4, and then we have uh, negative 2 down, so this is where our point is, and then we have 16, negative 2, so we have this one as 10, so 12, 14, 16, so this is where our x is, and then we've got a negative 2 as well. So if you try to look at that one, covertices is horizontally oriented. Take note, we are to follow uh, the vertices as the orientation. So if the covertices is horizontal, our vertices there is going to be vertical. So orientation there is vertical. Now, we don't have a center, so we need to look for the center. 
if this are the location of our vertices, this is 4, negative 2. The other one is 16, negative 2. We can just simply locate our center by simply counting the number of units aw that they are away from each other. So we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. They are 12 units away from each other. So 12 divided by 2, that's 6. So we will be counting 6 units from a vertex going to the center. So we have 2, 4, and then 6. This will be where our center is. And dot is on 10, negative 2. So that's our center. So since we have now the center as 10, negative 2, we can now look for our AB and create our standard equation of the ellipse. Or if you wanted to check on that one, you may use the standard equation of our, um, I mean, you may use the midpoint formula so that you can find the center of that one. And notice that that is still the same. You've got a 10 negative 2. You may try that one out. Now, next one, since we have the center and the orientation already, we are going to look for our A, B, and C. Since we are given the covertices here, so we can only find the B, which is counting from the center to any covertices. So we have, or any covertex. So we have from center, so we have two, four, six. So they are six units away from each other. So we have that one as on B, B is equal to six. Next one, we don't have our vertices here, so we cannot have our A, but instead we can have our C. Our C there is the length of the fossa, which is 16. Since our length of the fossa is 16, so our C there is going to be 8, because 16 divided by 2, that is 8. So there will be 8 units from the center. Now, next one, we are going to look for our A. So, looking for A, since we have C squared equal to A squared minus B squared, and we wanted to have our A here positive, so we just move our B squared to the other side. So, this will be now C squared plus B squared equal to A squared, or that is A squared equal to C squared plus B squared. And then we get the square root of that one to find our A formula. So we have our A here is equal to square root of C squared plus B squared. So A here will be equal to square root of C is 8. So 8 squared plus B is 6. Simplifying that one, we've got 64 plus 36. So that should be equal to 100. So our A here, square root of 100, that will be equal to 10. So our A is 10. So we need information for A squared. So squaring our 10, that's 100. And then squaring our 6, which is B, that will be 36. So we can now write our standard equation of our ellipse. So we have here, orientation is vertical. So we have X minus H squared over b squared that is now b squared because we have vertical orientation so that should be y minus k squared our a squared must be here that's equal to one so plugging in we've got x minus our center is 10 negative 2 this is h this is k so 10 we have minus 10 squared over b squared which is 36 plus y minus our k there is negative 2 squared over a squared which is 100 that's equal to 1. So this is now x minus 10 squared over 36 plus y minus negative 2 that's y plus 2 over 100. Sorry this should be squared and that's equal to 1. So this is now our standard equation of our ellipse. So this is it. Thank you for watching and then do like this one.